Welcome to Mr Chalk's Revision Tips. In this video, we will look at carboxylic acids, their structure and their properties. So, a carboxylic acid is an organic compound that contains a carboxyl group. The functional group of the carboxylic acid goes COOH. It is responsible for the typical reactions of carboxylic acids which are weak. So an example of carboxylic acid would be vinegar. Carboxylic acids occur widely in nature. So the fatty acids are components of glycerides which turn into uh, fat. So if you have a carboxylic acid with one carbon, it would be methanoic acid. Two carbons would be ethanoic, three carbons propanoic, and four carbons would be butanoic. So if we're looking at what type of reaction produces ethanoic acid from ethanol, it would be oxidization. So if we look at their properties, so they dissolve in water to produce acidic solutions. They react with carbonates to produce carbon dioxide. They do not ionize completely when dissolved in water, so are weak acids. Uh, aqueous solutions of weak acids have a higher pH value than aqueous solutions of strong acids with the same concentration. And they react with alcohols to produce esters. Carboxylic acids can react with alcohols to make esters. So esters are organic compounds which each contain the functional group COO. Esters have fruity smells and can be used for solvents. So you can see in the diagram that a molecule of water has been removed and a bond has formed between two of the OH groups between the ethanol and the ethanoic acid. So ethanol and ethanoic acid react in the presence of a catalyst to form an ester. So name the ester made from ethanol and ethanoic acid. Right, that would be ethyl ethanoate. If we're looking at the type of chemical used as a catalyst in this reaction, so some sort of other acid, any strong acid would be would be appropriate. And esters used for perfumes because they smell pleasant and are volatile. So what does volatile mean? It means it it evaporates easily, or it has a low boiling point. Uh, weak acids such as ethanoic acid do not fully disassociate so in fact about only one percent of the ethanoic acid molecules split up to form hydrogen ions so this means that the ph values of strong acids are much lower than that of weak acid which explains why the rate of reaction for strong acids <coughs> with substances is higher than weak acids so solutions of ethanoic acid and hydrochloric acid of the same concentration have different pHs. So explain why the solution of ethanoic acid has a higher pH than a solution of hydrochloric acid. So key things to talk about is the fact that it's weak acid because it does not completely ionize or does not completely disassociate to form hydrogen ions. Thanks for watching.